Today I'm teaching you how to use N8N because if you're starting a business by yourself, you want to make money as quickly as possible. But in the past, you either had to do all the annoying tasks yourself or spend thousands hiring someone to do them for you. But if you use N8N correctly, you can have an army of AI and automation tools that run most of your business for you. To show you just some of the ways you can use N8N to make money and automate your life, let's go to the N8N in template library where there's thousands and thousands of copy and paste templates that you can use to start building your dream online business. What if we're a business that wants to get local customers? Before we had to go through Google Maps ourselves, but now we can use this automation that every day it will find our ideal client on Google Maps for us. What if I'm a business who needs to make video content? I can link my in it in automation to the top news sources and every day when I wake up, the AI would have already made an image and a video and posted it on my social media if I wanted it to. Now there's over 6,000 templates, so you really see that you can do anything and everything with N8N. And if you even get good, there's people selling their templates, so this could be another passive income side hustle for you too. Now that you know what N8N is, how do we actually use it and how much does it cost? Well, what most beginners do is they go straight to the N8N website and they sign up for a plan which starts at $20 a month, but I wanna show you a way that you can get N8N for a lot cheaper. Self-hosting N8N with Hostinger is super quick, easy, and affordable, so just click the link in the description to follow along. I like using N8N through Hostinger's VPS because I can run my workflows an unlimited amount of times, whereas on the N8N site, I can only do that 2,500 times for $24 a month. But on Hostinger, it's unlimited and plans start at just $4.99 per month. Hostinger also uses a lot of powerful hardware, so your data is always secure and N8N runs super fast. If all that sounds good to you, then I think the KVM1 or the KVM2 plan is gonna be the best if you're a beginner, so just click on choose plan. I always like the 12 or 24 month plans because I like to pay for things upfront and get a better deal, really lock in that good pricing. To get you guys an even better deal, enter code ENERGY at checkout, E-N-E-R-G-I, and that's gonna get you 10 percent off. Now the price for two years through Hostinger is like a few months if I signed up on N8N, so I'd rather go this route and save money. Make sure that N8N is selected, enter your payment details, and when the payment is done, just click on get started. From here, it's pretty much one click activation, so enter your password and then click finish setup. So wait a few minutes and then it is all set up. Click on manage app and it'll take you to N8N to set up your free N8N account. So just fill in your details and click on next. You can skip all these questions, click on get started, but this is important. We get the paid features for free through Hostinger. So click on send me a free license key. Go ahead and check the email that you put in. You'll see a big orange button that says activate license key. And now you're ready to get started. Now that we're signed up for N8N, I wanna show you guys how you can create your very first workflow that you could start using today. Now it is pretty easy and because I spent hours just like struggling to figure it out, I'm gonna explain it in a way that you don't have to struggle. You could just follow along with my instructions and you will get your first workflow up and running today. For our first N8N workflow, we're gonna start with something super simple but very powerful. How it works is that every morning it'll search the platform of our our choice. It could be YouTube, it could be the daily news, it could be Reddit, it could be Twitter, and find relevant trending information about our business. It'll filter out what is not relevant and then it will use AI for here I'm using Claude to create daily content ideas based on what is trending in the niche and the platform of your choice. It'll then send you a newsletter so that by the time you wake up you already have viral trending content ideas for your organic marketing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just name this daily update and then I'm going to add our first step. So for the first step, it's called a trigger. This is what starts the entire workflow and there's a few ways that we can trigger it, but I want to do on a schedule because I want to run it every day. So the trigger interval we can choose and we'll choose days. Days between triggers is just one and then we can choose the time. So I want it to do it at 7 a.m. every morning. That is all we need to do for this. So we'll go back to the canvas and we see that there's a plus button for the second step. Now, what do I want it to do every morning? Well, I want it to search a platform of my choice 
YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, whatever it is. As a beginner, what I do is I just type in search because that makes sense to me. But as you can see, like there's not really much except for like, you know, real time results from Google. So we're gonna use something here called Appify. Now with Appify, this is a separate tool that you would connect and you can see that it allows you to search things like TikTok or Google Maps or Instagram for some kind of information. And with the pricing, it's really good because they have a free plan which gets you $5. But because a lot of these searches are just a few pennies, this $5 actually lasts you a lot. So go ahead and create a free plan on Appify. And when we come back here, we can just click on Appify and we'll click on Run an Actor. We already have our Appify account, but we need to get it connected because in it and does not know that that is our account, right? In order to connect our Appify account so that we can run this, we need something called a credential. So I already have mine set up, but I'm gonna press on create new credential just so that you can see it. Most credentials are gonna require you to find something called an API key. It's really easy to find, but if you don't know, we can always click on open docs and N8N has guides for how to find those credentials. So here it says, find it on the integrations page of Appify. So we're just gonna click on integrations. And then in integrations, you can see personal API tokens. We're gonna click on create a new token and we're gonna give it a name, for example, N8N. Once we have our API key created, we can copy that API key and then we can just paste it where it says API key and click on save. Now in Appify, we have the Appify store. So if I wanted to search Reddit, for example, there's all these ones that we can use. I usually go with the ones with, you know, a lot of ratings and a lot of users. So I know that that works. I wanna do YouTube so I can type in YouTube and I can see, okay, this one has a lot of reviews and it seems pretty good, right? So this is one that I could use. Maybe my niche is dogs. So I can type in dogs here and I want to search 10 videos. I need to start this at least one time in Appify before I could come here and see that I have all of these ready for me here. But because I just ran it, you could see that it's at the very top. I can click it. And now that is completely connected and ready for me to use. So at 6 a.m. every morning, it will search YouTube. So from that one search that we just did as a practice, it consumed only like four cents. So this is not expensive at all. Now in order to customize this for our business, we need to go to something called JSON, which is the computer code. And then we will copy to clipboard. We'll come back to our N8N dashboard. We'll click on run an actor. And then where it says input JSON, this is what we're gonna actually paste here. Now we can start customizing it to be what we actually want to search. So maybe I create content about real estate or something. I would put real estate there. Maybe I wanna search 100 videos and I'll go into the add filters part and maybe I want to have the top viewed videos from today. I usually like to keep it on relevance. If you're running it every day, then I would say today. If you're running it every week, then put this week. So now we know if we go to the JSON part, it automatically converts what we just said to code. So you can see search queries is real estate relevant. So we don't need to know any code at all. Let's go back into the N8N dashboard. And I do suggest renaming all of these things to what you actually are doing. So I'm just going to say search YouTube. It just makes it more understandable. Instead of schedule trigger, I'm going to rename this and I'm going to say 7 a.m daily search YouTube, right? It just makes sense in my head. In order to test this step, we can click on execute step and then we can see that everything is working. When you're running this, just make sure it's on run an actor and get data set. If you did that correctly, then it will output 10 items because if you remember earlier, we asked it for a maximum of 10 results. We can always change this number to 100 or whatever we want it to be. And then the output would be the same. It's going to give this to you in a few forms, schema, which looks like this. It's kind of hard to read. Table. I like table a little bit better just for what we're doing. It helps to see it this way so you can see the title of each video or JSON. Now this is for the computer to read and this is not really for you to read. I like table. So what do we want to do with this information? Because right now it's just 10 of the most popular videos of the day, right? Now I don't want to just have random videos here. I want to filter things out by, you know, the view count and what is relevant to me. So I'm going to press this plus button and for this we'll need a node called code and then we can choose code in JavaScript. Now I don't want you guys to code anything at all. I want you guys to use Claude or ChatGPT so that it can code everything for you. The way that I like to do that is by clicking on the three dots in the right, click on 
download and then just download your code. What this does is it downloads your workflow in the form of code that Claude can read. I'll drop that into Claude and then I'll say, hey, I want to create something to filter out only videos that have above 50,000 views. From here, Claude is gonna tell us the best code to use. We can copy that, go back to here where it says filter best, and then copy and paste what Claude gave us. I'm then gonna just press execute step again so that I can test it. Now we can see everything ran fine. There was 10 videos to choose from, and there was only one item that was returned because there's only one item that got more than the view count that we said. If we don't want to continue running this search YouTube one over and over, then just click on search YouTube and then click on pin data so that that is always saved for us. We want this data to go into ChatGPT or Claude, but if we just give the AI something like this, it's actually gonna be confused because there's too much information here. So we need to create another step afterwards so that this information can kind of be cleaned up so that the AI can read it easily. So we're gonna press the plus button. We'll say code again, JavaScript again. And if you remember, I don't wanna do any code. I just wanna tell Claude to make this code for me. I did that here. This is what Claude gave me. So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it. I am not a coder. I'll press execute steps so that I can test and make sure everything is good. And that is exactly how I wanted it to come out. Just one nice summary of the video's information. We're actually almost done. Now it's time to connect the actual AI. What we can do is press the plus button and you can choose which AI AI that you want. So maybe you use OpenAI or maybe you use Claude. You can just connect it and make sure to add your credentials like we did last time. This is what it looks like when you connect it. It's trying to say when chat message is received, but just delete that connection and connect it like this because we don't have a chat message or anything like that. This is what it looks like. If you wanted to use Claude or ChatGPT, but you didn't want to have all these separate credentials and API keys, then I would use something like Open router. The reason I like this is because it's literally just one API key, one credential for everything. So you don't have to keep going back and forth. You can literally just use one API for any model. So that's actually what I use. So I will connect my open router account rather than just Claude itself. I'm just going to search for the AI that I want to use. You can see that there's so many AIs that you can choose from Premiere. So I'm just going to type in Claude and I'm going to use Sonnet 4. I'm going to rename this to AI analyzes videos. I want to double click on this AI analyzes videos. I'll change this right here to define below. And here's where we can enter a prompt. So what do we want the AI to do with this video information here? For the prompt, I'm just going to use Claude again to write it. Like I'm using AI for everything. So the prompt basically says, hey, I'm a YouTuber. I make videos about real estate investing. Please take the top most trending videos and give me content ideas in the format of an email. So I will copy this and I'll put it here in the prompt. If you remember, we have this summary box that has the videos and all the information in it. We can click this and just drag it into here so that the AI has the information to use. Let's go ahead and execute step and see if this works. So we have the prompt here, but I wanna make sure that the AI formats it in the right way for email. So I'll go down here and I'll say add a prompt, make sure that it's on system. System is giving the AI instructions. So we can open this out and just copy and paste this from Claude again. This is just giving it information for how to format at our email. So we can click on execute step. You can see the AI is thinking and analyzing all of the information. Then we should get a good email from here. It looks like everything ran successfully. So now, I mean, we need to actually get the email to our inbox, right? So we can click on add and then we'll go here to Gmail. There's a lot of things that we can do in Gmail, but I want the AI to send us a message. Again, we're going to have to connect our credentials. So just open the docs and if you open the docs it'll give you all the information about how to set up your gmail account from here you just need to make sure that the message box says json.txt if it doesn't say that then just drag this text box from here into where it says message make sure it's green and then you can change things like the subject line or the sender name 
or where you're sending the email to. After you customize those fields, you're actually done. Like I told you guys, this was so simple. This is what it sends me automatically for my own channel. And to make it easy on you guys, I'm gonna put the template link for this down below. If you guys have any ideas for N8N workflows that you want to do in your business or your personal life and you want me to create them, just leave a comment down below and I might make that for a future video. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more about how to use AI to build your dream online business, then I'll put this playlist on the screen here. Other than that, I'll see you guys in one of those videos.